afternoon all uh, welcome back to the channel and this is an introduction to luminar ai yep i've finally finally got a hold of it um don't ask how would you staff this is the official release which is going out to everyone so it's just basically an intro into it i've got three images here and i'm all i'm going to do is basically the bang on about templates this is what they keep on going on about so i'm going to play around with templates that's all i'm going to do in this in this video tutorial introduction whatever you want to do everything else will go into that at a different stage but i'm just going to go through some of the templates and what they can do with one click it's as simple as that um this is just a dull image the rr raw files taken straight out of the camera and then basically put on my computer then brought into luminaire luminar ai so straight away it is basically detected that it is an urban style or a big screen or obje object don't know how it does that but if you want to you can go down here and you can click on any of these easy landscape overcast big city light sunsets you know what i mean so i'm going to go into let's go into this one and see what it does so one click that's all i'm doing just the one click well let's change the bit go up in you've got your little eye up here you can click on that before and after that's not too bad now what you've got to remember is <clears throat> why are you doing all this all it's doing is changing this image and not doing much else don't like that Eek. well that's not too bad compared to brought the clouds out what else have we got i'm going to sunset for a laugh I'm not bothered about the black and white i think that's a bit too much to be totally honest that's not far away from how i edited this when i brought it out of luminar <clears throat> apart from i had a bit of lightning and put a bit of lightning down here onto the um, bridge <laughs> well you got to play haven't you impact not not too bad see that straight away i can tell it's changed the sky replaced the sky now if i go into edit hi guys don't forget hit the subscribe button give us a thumbs up and all that jazz you won't believe how much it helps the channel thanks again let's get back to the video yeah uh, and then go into that if you can see the little dots it basically means it's done something and your little dot little dot so sunset cloud straight away now if we turn that off and then turn it back on so that's where it's done it's replaced the sky which isn't too bad considering all i've done is one click it's not something i do quite regular but i quite like that to be totally honest it's not bad at all i mean then you can go into all your usual things raising so if you've got birds in the middle which i have you can raise them things have been moved around a bit uh, as you can see um like your before and after and as a before and after considering I've, cl I've i've clicked one button that's all i've done one button go back into templates all i've done is gone into templates and clicked on that and that's what it's done i mean we'll go back into templates if you want to take this back off if you go down to here the three dots press the three dots reset adjustment and that'll take it back to your first image I'm just showing you a bit around the site i mean don't get me wrong there's templates for all sorts you know what I mean? If you really, really want to go through stuff. Uh, but I'm just concentrating on the landscape. So that's that image. I'm going to this one. See what it makes of this one. This should be fun. So it's going to easy landscapes, um, natural skies, and artistic. This should be fun. I mean, that says subtle. Hmm. Let's give it a bit of mist. No no that one's not too bad supreme before and after i think it's a bit too red for me but you can if you go down to the bottom here you've got a slider and you can just basically take this back until where you think your happy happy point is 
So again, before and after, it's not much because I've dropped this back. I think we're about, I don't know, 35% or something stupid like that. Right, what else have we got? Natural sky, let's have a look at this. After hours. Crack of dawn, I don't mind that one. Don't know why they're black and white. Morning dew. Let's have a look. Sinking skies. That's not too bad. What's the last one? Easy landscapes. Well, we've had these, but it all depends on what they like. Because every, every one of these templates will be different on every photo. <clears throat> I mean, there is ways to make your own templates up. Um, I will show you that in a different video. But all I'm doing here is showing you the templates that are in Luminar AI. I won't go for a cast because you never know what it's going to do. See, I don't mind that. I like the darkness in the sky. If I pull it back a little bit. See, all it's done is brightened this area up round here. Made the blues a bit more. But I quite like that one. Dramatic result. Again, don't mind that one either. That's quite nice. Like I say, you can pull these back as much or as little as you want just by using this slider here. Um, so you can put it up to wherever. And just to reset it, just click the three buttons and reset. So that's what we started out with. Right, let's go on to the last one. Um, if you're from the northeast, you'll know what that is. Well, you should do anyway. <laughs> <coughs> back in the template, see what it does. Right, it's got nature scenery easy landscapes right well we've done landscapes clear and sharp well in one click i don't think that's done a bad job of that at all and that's one click fast fix again one click i don't think it's too bad at all pleasing touch see i like the sky on that one See again, I basically by clicking that one, it's changed the sky. Um, whether or not you like that, I don't mind it. It doesn't look right, personally, but it's not too bad. I mean, you can dial it back, I think, and you just get a bit of wisps of both clouds coming through, maybe a bit more realistic. But like you say, it's up to you at the end of the day. And this is the thing about photography. It is down to your personal preference how you want to edit these. If you want it so all this is really, really bright all down here and then it gets darker to go on through the back, that's up to you. What else have we got? Nature. See, I don't mind that one either. I don't, I don't mind that one at all. See, that's give the blues really brought the blue out a lot there. It's quite nice though. Best close up. Yeah. Act, act, right, okay. Which isn't too bad actually. Greens are more vivid, blues are more vivid. Um, if anything, I'd probably lighten it a little bit. But well, that's what I think. So that's the introduction about done, guys. Um, let me know in the comments what, comments what you think. Um, like I say, I will be going in more in depth of what's going on with it. I what's changed in editing, everything else pro all these bits here i will go into these in a later date so give the video a thumbs up like i say it's just an introduction to luminai ai and templates so have a good one guys don't forget to like share and subscribe bye now